uh, similar to previous time, uh, I need you to open your webcam. Uh, but okay, first day I know I might be you are not ready yet. Uh, but next class, please open your webcam. And why I move to Webex, although it's going to require you more bandwidth, but most of you already come into UTM. Uh, there is no problem with Wi-Fi. Um, and uh, Google Meet, uh, the features for recording is not available anymore. So that's why most of us are moving to Webex. Last time I didn't use Webex, although there is uh, several other lecturers already moved because uh, I think about the bandwidth, but we don't have any choice. Google Meet is not yet support recording, so I moved to Webex. So you can see uh, this is the first module. Uh, what is the objective? You can read and go through later on. This will be cover a component of computer. Uh, Com uh, computer structure functions, computer evolution. Can I put my pen? Computer evolution, computer level hierarchy, example system, and last summary. Okay, this is related to day to day activities. Most of you are using laptop, most of you are using PCs and tablet mobile phone instead of having their name laptop uh notebook what else a uh, computer so there is a name that you can call them uh, in terms of the technology name so today you're going to learn that or maybe you can change later on to call uh, them in terms of like microcomputer, supercomputer. So what is microcomputer? What is supercomputer? And there is several other names. Uh, right, uh, personal computer, workstation, uh, mainframe, mini computer. So when you go to buy a new PC, let's say. Maybe you can talk to the promoter. I want to buy personal computer. So they will like, uh huh, what is personal computer? <laughs> and I want to buy a whole station because I want to play game, let's say. So they will say, What what is station? Oh, I want a P computer or PC uh to play uh, a game. So they will say, Oh, gaming computer. If you talk about workstation, maybe they don't know. So that's why uh, in COA subject, you can learn something that related to technology, but in terms of your usage, especially for a computer. So there is, uh, I think this one you can skip. Okay, there is a differentiation between two, whether it is a computer architecture, And computer organization. Imran, can you just talk, <laughs> share whatever you have in mind? And computer architecture, you can see here, refer to those attributes of a system that visible to programmer. Normally, we as a user, we can see and understand computer architecture because we just know the organizations of the computer we just see okay there is a window what window i have window 10 let's say window 11 currently their letters and then i see there is this icon 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 i click i open so as a user we just know that but in terms of architecture before you have this on top of your os operating system you need to have architecture so it's going to be visible for programmer programmer who uh, program your operating system programmer that program your program of your application have a direct impact on the logical executions of the program so how to how do i design a computer so this is the things on the computer architecture
but for computer organizations it's refer, refer to operational unit and their interconnections that realize the architectural specification so how does a computer work this is the question for a computer organization Computer architecture or organization uh, may include a several elements. So you need to see what element can be addressed. Mm -hmm. And in terms of to spot a question, of course, might be you can see, uh, okay, there is a list of uh, component for computer architecture. Maybe this can be a question for my test because might be uh, the question we said, okay, which of the following is not elements for computer architecture maybe so you need to remember this similar to com uh, computer architecture so again uh, it's uh, to spot a question it is not too hard you just need to feel that i am a lecturer and if i am a lecturer how can i create a question referring to the slide so then after you know, you can see, okay, this kind of question might come out. Okay, so this is all the list of uh, elements that have uh, in the computer architecture and computer organization. Later on, you're going to go deeper one by one, okay? But for now, you just need to know the surface. No need for me to uh, read one by one because later also you will go deeper uh, and deeper in each of these elements. Okay, the computer family. Uh, for many computer manufacturing like might be Dell, HP, whatever uh, computer companies or manufacturing offer a family of computer models. What is the fam com family of computer? Uh, which is same architecture. So means that if you have Dell, uh, blah, 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 X10, let's say. So this is the model for this computer. So uh, maybe you have another uh, version uh, Dell, but it is X11 might be. So although it is similar uh, computer or similar model might be it's also similar but sometimes you install something different okay but sometimes it's different in organization so it's depend on how uh, the programmer set your computer uh, let's say you have a Dell uh, x86 uh, family they share the same architecture so IBM System 370 architecture is the first introduced in 1970. So this is the first uh, uh, architecture that been used in a computer generation. So later on after this, you're going to learn what is the first computer in worldwide. Okay, uh, this one important. Similar to car, uh, I'm not going to inform every single thing in here. This is the evolution of the car from here and then let's go to this, this, until we have a Ferrari and sport car and etc. Right? Similar to also with the car, although you can see same architecture because it is a car, but you organize it in different way. This car is not similar to whatever inside or organizations of the car. Similar also with a computer. Uh, Sometimes you, uh, it's good for you to have a similar architecture. Sometimes if you have a different architecture. But in this statement, they said there is advantage if you have a same architecture, which is the software is similar. It can be used uh, in the newer co uh, computer model, but different organization. If you have a computer, uh, you want to move to another newest or latest computer, 
uh, might be you're going to bring all the architecture inside to here window uh, 10 here and then you have window 11 here so you are putting in different organization so why you need to study coa because you know already about computer you use it every single day but i don't believe although you are using computer you are using your uh, notebooks you are using smartphone but still you don't know how to be a programmer what is basically inside let's say you know oh i have a keyboard i know it's just a um, input device i have the display display as an output or oh, i know it is as output or oh, and then uh, in between i need to have a process processor i have a storage okay this is the process of computer currently every single computer going to have this uh, if you have a storage i have a storage i have uh, might be SSD, whatever currently you have. I also not expert in this. Uh, might be you have a external or internal hard uh, hard drive. So you just know in uh, a surface. But here in a COA subject, you're going to go deeper. Although like a register might be, you don't know that in your computer you have a register. You have a LU, you have Oh, sorry. You have EBX. You have A, uh, EAX. You have ADX. Uh, you have BX. You have BL. Uh, so all of this is in your computer. You are using it every single day. But you don't know that they exist. That's why you learn in this COA. Whatever you are doing currently, you are using all those things. Okay, in terms of computer type. Uh, first of all, is the personal computer, which is PC. This is going to be small, single user only, under microprocessor. Later, you also will learn what is microprocessor. You have a lot of movement evolution of your processor. Might be are using a single core, double core, third core, fourth core, until seven core, right? Right now, I don't know. <laughs> uh, last time when I, I am a student, uh, we are like eagerly to buy the latest version of processor because we want to be having a speed. But now when I become old, <laughs> I don't care about that anymore. When I need to buy a computer, sometimes I ask my student, can you do a research? Uh, help me find the latest or much more uh, heavy duty for a computer. Then I just buy uh, whatever you think that it's necessary. So I don't want to think about that anymore. About workstation. A powerful single user computer. Although you can see it is just a normal PC for me. Uh, so computer lah. Uh, but you can talk and set it as a workstation which is much more powerful. Okay. This one is also slightly tricky. Because you can see although this is just a definition. But... It can be also us. Uh, last time, semest last semester, they asked only, uh, you can see, a powerful single computer. They give you definition. Might be, what is the computer type? So, the question something like that. You were given with the specification of the hardware. Uh, powerful, you need to pick. Is it a personal computer? Is it a workstation? You can see a powerful also can be said in your mainframe. So you need to need to know differentiation. 
uh, for mainframe, it is a multi computer. So although it said powerful, so maybe you say, oh, powerful, this is workstation. Uh, you need to check also another different session, which is single user, or if single user, it's a workstation. If it's a multi-user, it is a mainframe. So in terms of, uh, you can see, very simple, although it is just a definition, as a lecturer, you can do a question from here. It's not just asking you, what is the definition for a personal computer? It's very cliche because uh, sangat cliche soalan tu is directly ask you what is the definition. So in terms of just direct question, they can just pusing-pusing a move around to ask you a question. Okay, so you need to know all the detail. PC, what is this? Workstation. Next, you have mini computer. It's like a mini, mini iPad. But you can see mini computer is more bigger than your own computer. Although the name is mini. So if you don't know what is mini computer, you're going to pick a wrong answer. Maybe you said mini computer is more smaller than computer so you pick a wrong things but it is a multi-user computer which is capable to support up to 100 of users simultaneously come to school of computing there is a lot of lab maybe you cannot enter the lab because uh, normally they have uh, like uh apa kita panggil print fingerprint or cut uh, access to go into the lab but from outside all is a glass lab so you can see from outside oh the lab is look like this so you will be looking also there is a lot of mini computer there is also mainframe at the lab of school of computing just uh, explore maybe you just go there to just buy uh water here we have a lot of apa kita panggil yang jual air tu apa mesin gedegang <laughs> vending machine what is it a vending machine ah vending machine so ah, we have oh. a lot of vending machine maybe you can just give excuse i want to buy water but i don't want to go for to meranti so i go to school of computing to use the vending machine there buy a water uh, so you can see uh, school of computing we have n28 a and 28 uh near to us like n24 i guess uh at behind i don't know what is the block name but just moving around no one will like say you cannot enter here uh, if you don't want to go to school of computing you can explore to a school of electrical, much more near to earth, uh, mechanical. So you see what is the difference. Maybe you can see around uh, and look into the inside lecture hall. Uh, then imagine, okay, I want to have a face-to-face -face class. Uh, okay, you need to know all the definition, right? Uh, we have a supercomputer which is extreme. This is like a keyword, extreme fast computer that can perform hundred of millions instruction per second. So it's like quite huge. I don't know whether you can see it's in UTM or not. But uh, normally we have in UTM at CICT, uh, ICT, CICT. Uh, in UTM lab, uh, School of Computing, I think you can see much bigger like this. But if too big here, it adds CICT. Uh, next, you have mobile device. Don't call it as phone. Uh, give me my phone. Give me my smartphone. I want to buy smartphone. Instead, you said to uh, the promoter, I want to buy mobile device. So they said, huh, mobile? What is mobile? Is it <laughs> your mobile? Uh, you punya uh, apa? Moto? Uh, but it is device. So they will think uh, several times. Then we say, they, they will ask you, what is mobile device? Then you say, hey, it is a smartphone. It is a phone. 
uh, if you want to know then go study at UTM <laughs> it is a computer device which is small to hold this thing you will learn also in OS operating system all of this and then you will feel like bored uh, I feel like very boring because uh, things quite similar you're going to also learn in your OS for the first uh, chapter because it is more on theory right in OS they call it as handheld device I forgot this behind but it hand else uh, which is you can hold it and operate in hands although the name is the technology name is slightly different but it is a similar things like your smartphone your PDA so all is a mobile device uh, your computer laptop also if it is like a uh, very small and mini it can be called as mobile device also S mobile uh, if you are playing around with research we are referring it to something that you can move around uh, mobile node uh, mobile device it is a quite similar name uh, when you have a connection to your wi-fi as long as it can be mobile can move around okay that is for your one for one have now okay next we have comp component in computer uh similar it is very synonym for you before you go deeper to something new the first thing is definition uh you are been maybe lucky you don't know uh, how the uh, face to face exam will be look like from our era <laughs> our era uh, we are having face to face uh, exam it is very cliche question in term of definition so we need to remember every single definition but all of you uh, we cannot give direct question like what is the definition for electronic device they say uh, what is a computer? Uh, what is a mobile device? What is your supercomputer? What is a mainframe? Because it is very cliche to give you direct uh, question like that in terms of online. But when you come back, I think next next semester, you're going to have physicals face-to-face. Uh, -face. You will find that every question if you have this is your uh, paper for final exam final exam beginning of the question it will be definition so you need to write all the definition see you need to remember all but you have been lucky for online you just need to remember the keyword because if you find the keyword you find at abc then you just pick see you've been lucky the whole two years in utm now okay uh this is the definitions of computer you can find also in google uh to get to know what else definition that you can find out about a computer but again uh it will always come from our slide in terms of your test and also final exam an electronic device uh, design this is another definition i'm not going to read so this is the ones that i show you just now i see that this is the needed for you to have a computer system okay you must need input you must need an uh, input device and then wherever you in you have an input you're going to have a process later you will learn a lu cpu register in the processing that 
sometimes you can directly go to the output display in your display of your computer. Your input will be the keyboard, your mouse, uh, your scanner also input. Your output will be display, printer. Uh, there is a lot of things that you can uh, put all the device in the input and output. Process also later on you need to know what is three elements that important for processor. What is the heart of your computer? So all of this later you will learn. And you can see sometime before you go out, you're going to store your input. Then you store and you process. Okay, so this is the keyword and this is how your computer works. Okay, this is it. Uh, you can see processor is the brain. Not a heart, okay? This is a brain. So, what is in the brain? Uh, you need to know ALU, aromatic logic units. You need to know register. Uh, apa lagi satu? Uh, CU, control unit. Hmm. Okay, this is here. Computer, you need to have processor. I said there is three important things, right? ALU, aromatic logic unit, control unit, CU, and another one register. You can see, uh, I know I only uh, have a, well, uh, my, <laughs> I don't know what penting, but mostly when you, are dealing with your computer, you said that, okay, this one is very important for you, the CPU. But CPU, what is inside? So, this is the things that you need to know. ALU, CU, and also register. You don't know that sometimes they exist, but it is there. In terms of storage, you need to know that you have two things. Main memory and secondary memory. Then, you know... Later on, RAM is main or secondary? ROM is main or secondary? Uh, where you going to apply? Uh, what data that you're going to store at RAM? What data you're going to store in the ROM? Normally, you just find a laptop. You just want, okay, I want uh, bigger in RAM because I want to have a speed. What is related to your speed? Uh, so, you will learn throughout your COA. Input output, you have the device and architecture itself. So this is your, all the basic component. Instead of having these things, you need to have a connection. Uh, macha uh, in your bodies, you are the urat vents. So this is the bus that connected your blood uh, to circulate in your bodies. So, this is the bus system. The connection that will connect, interconnection you with the others, like from storage, is connect you to the input and extra. So, it is a system connection. What else the function is going to have the program uh, instruction that will connect all of you with the others. And also the data. So, most of it is very important for your computer. So, let's take a look. Uh, this is uh, on top of a computer structure and function. A computer is complex. Uh, maybe you say uh, it's very easy, a uh, computer. But actually, it's quite complex. Uh, with the hierarchy system of... Uh, interrelated subsystem with different levels so you're going to have a lot of hierarchy okay you have a lot of hierarchy and again i give you a hint if you find pyramid if you find a gun chart if you find a diagram that will be always been asked in your test Hierarchy, when you have hierarchy, you need to remember all this level. Let's say this is level um, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
it's very cliche they they going to ask you which one is the true about this hierarchy of let's say register or see you uh they give you uh level 5 uh it is for system bus but might be this is not the correct one level 4 it is for a bus uh might be is a correct so this is the correct one so you need to remember all the level uh, as easy as that it can be asked you a question but your job is much more increased because you need to remember all the level name and also name and also task function okay uh, okay this is a structure what is the structure and function structure the way in which as a component are interrelated well for the function the operation of each individual component as part of structure. This is the definition. Okay, uh, if you have this big of diagram normally within us, but if you have like, uh, let me show you. All this table, uh, you need to memorize. Kejap eh, I show you how to tackle a equation. Okay, let's say these things. You have three things here. When you find something that related to a diagram or flow, when you have like this, normally we're going to ask you a question. What is the correct step for one model? So one, we just copy paste this, we put as A. Two, we copy paste this B. Uh, might be we copy this as a C. And we put another D here. We copy the sentences but we put like not execute. Uh, so as a simple as that, we can create a, uh, a question. So you need to answer. So if you have this kind of looks, please make sure you remember. Okay, uh, another one. If you have to do this like this. Uh, education is divided into two. But normally three or four. Uh, it's good for us to ask a question because we have A, B, C, D. So if you have like this two, it will ask you uh, which one, uh, which, which is the approach for program education. So it gives you not going to give you ABC, but it said hardwired, software, soft copy, uh, hard copy, let's say. So you need to know what is the approach. Sometimes it's not given you how many, right? So program education, you need to know. Okay, there is two. So this is a things that you can spot how the question is will be look like. Okay, go back to these things. Okay, you have a computer system. It's divided into structure and function. On the structure, what is available? Having your memory, input, output, memory, of course, related to storage, system interconnection, your bus system, and your CU, which is related to the uh, ALU register CU. While for the function, you have data processing, data storage, data movement, control. This thing also can be asked. See, you have four things. Uh, it's easy for me to create an equation. Uh, might be I just remove this. Or maybe I put, I put five choices. So, which is the function or computer system? Uh, then you need to pick which one is correct. Or maybe I said, which one is not a function for computer system so i put data movement and then i said data scaling data structure which is not here right data memory i just put whatever data i can see i can uh, change whatever name at the uh, behind that so uh, you need to know what is basically for the function so uh, 
we can imagine how mm. we can ask you in terms of the question. So see, CPU have ALU control unit and register. You can see these things. Uh, before this, uh, we are playing around with this three. But on top of it, the CU interconnection, CPU interconnection is related to bus. You punya urat dalam badan you tu, uh, you punya connection, uh, vents you to connect your blood to your heart, similar to also a computer, you need to have a connection. Okay. This one, in terms of structure, uh, yeah, I try to finish anti structure. Structure, you can see you have a computer storage and processing. So, this is the connection uh, communication line and also peripher uh, peripherals. Uh, this one will connect you to the outside input, output. Input, output. For inside, you have processor and processing. C. you can see you still have input. You still output. Process is this one. Storage is this one. And to connect all of them together, you need to have a, a connection. Which is called the CPU. Interconnection, inter means dalam ni. You put your connections inside. And system interconnection, which is, although it's inter, but it's inter, uh, in your computer only. Okay. Um, structure, it can be divided into two things. Simple single processor computer, which is at top level. This is a traditional way of your computer. Uh, last time, I don't think that we are using this anymore. Now we have a multi-core computer structure. You have a dual core, fourth core, fifth core. Uh, I tak tahu lagi sampai mana. Might be it's already seven, eight, ten core. So it is a structure. Okay, how basically your core, core, core for your computer or your laptop look like? If you are using a single processor computer. Hmm, where is it? Is that okay? This is your computer. You have input output. You have a memory storage. You have CU. This is the things that important, isn't it? And you need to have a interconnection, which is system bus. So in your CU here, it have a LU register and CU. You go back and see back there is three things i said is important but when you have this thing let's say in your body in your body you have heart you have liver you have apalagi kidney this is your heart this is your liver this is your kidney let's say i give you an example but of course you need to have a van to connect them together it's called as a internal bus okay a bus system and inside your control unit a letter in next chapter if you look on your ci you're going to go deeper what is inside lu what is inside your register what is inside your inter uh, internal bus what is inside cu also but is in this picture is just give you example so uh, no need for you to ask uh, kenapa i tak nampak what is inside this lu later you will find also these things but in this example it shows in, in term of control unit what is inside cu sequential logic control unit register decoder control memory this day, you're going to go deeper and deeper in terms of theory is quite boring unless you really love to know uh, about computer. Okay. I think only that. Uh, later, we will continue. Uh, you can see here, uh, example, if you have all these tables, it is compulsory for you to remember. Because, uh, like this table, okay? I just pick. One question. Question number one. 
what is the correct task for each component so i give you cpu uh, is function to control blah 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 okay this is correct uh, a b memory i just said memory is to move data da, 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 da. is not isn't it input output is for storage data just swipe like that so you know the first one is a correct thing that's why uh coa is slightly uh many on memorize <laughs> need to uh, memorize all the tables all the structures uh function uh that's why i don't like this subject <laughs> personally okay any question before we end Oh, are you here or you already sleep? Because it's quite boring. <laughs> I'm here, doctor. Uh, no, okay. So if you have any question, you can just voice up. Next class, please make sure uh, open your webcam so I can see what uh, maybe you already sleep. <laughs> because it's quite boring. Uh, maybe I want to know what you are doing. Imran ni banyak cakap dekat chat tapi dia tak nak cakap dekat microphone. I want to get books to share so I can <laughs> Okay, tomorrow we are holiday. Uh, still, uh, although it is holiday, I still work. I, I don't think that I have free time. For me time, I don't have any more. Uh, please enjoy your study life. Because after you graduate, you don't have me time. Uh, uh, it's depend on your company. If you are lucky, you get a very good company that didn't uh, disturb you in a holiday. Uh, I don't say that UTM disturbed me in holiday, but me personally myself, uh, I have a lot of work to do uh, to achieve. I want to do a paper. It is. Um, Depend on the lecturer. If they think that they want to publish a paper, they need to work hard. Similar to me, uh, I think uh, when I come back, I do some uh, work at home. Uh, I come back to my room, I clean my house. Then after like 9 or 9.30, I already open back my computer to work. So my kids always said... Uh, <laughs> Okay, Mama, uh, ada kelas lah. Mama, ada meeting lah. Mama, ada kerja lah. Uh, yes. Because uh, at night also, I will having a meeting. So, at night, after my uh, kids are uh, ready to sleep, so I start work. But uh, you can see whenever you come to my office, normally you're going to see also my kids around. Because I sometimes I bring uh, them here, but one of my kids always follow me, uh, because uh, he will just go to school if needed because uh, COVID, right? So they have like schedule like this week no school, so he's here. Can <laughs> uh, That's all I think. Uh, it's already nine uh, ten a.m. So meet you again uh, next time, next next week. Uh, I will upload the, the video to